Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Melania Trump shot to global fame as the first lady of the United States after her husband Donald Trump triumphed in the 2016 presidential election. But what was she like before she met him? Melania met the real estate mogul in 1998, two years after moving to New York when she was working as a model. The pair started dating and then married in 2005. A year later, their son Baron was born and Melania became a naturalized U.S. citizen. She is a loyal supporter of her controversial husband, backing him up on even his hardline immigration views. However, Melania had an interesting life and career before meeting the future president. She was born Mla Melania Naz in Novo Mesto, Slovenia, and grew up in Sevnica with her father Victor, who managed car dealerships. Her mother, Amelia, who was a pattern maker, and her sister, Ayans. She later attended secondary school in Jubilanja, Jubiljana and studied at the university there for a year before dropping out to pursue modeling full-time. An ex-boyfriend of Melania spilled the beans to ABC News in March 2016 about what the future first lady was really like back home in Slovenia. Joa Zokic met Melania in the summer of 1991 when she was 21 years old. He said, we met each other like in a movie. It was a hot summer day in between wars in Slovenia. It was the beginning of a new political era for us. The city was empty, blocked by the army. I was on my motorbike and she was walking down the street. As I passed by her, I had a moment and thought, wow. Who is this girl? She is so beautiful, I must turn back and follow her. He said she was wearing a full leather outfit and that it was the most fashionable piece he had ever seen. The couple dated for several months and spent summer days by the Croatian sea with some friends. He said it was a bit of a shock when I met her. She is very special, that's the truth. Melania Trump is now a style icon which with her, lo with her looks being imitated by people around the world. According to Mr. Zorkic, she was always a very beautiful and fashionable woman. He said, I, f I was impressed by her beauty from the very first moment. She was very nicely dressed and her behavior was classy. She was tall, had long hair across her face. I could hardly see her eyes. Such style. He added, she wanted to live abroad in Italy, France, a life of fashion. She was very fashionable. Melania ended up fulfilling the stream. She lived a jet set life of a model flying between Paris and Milan for a time. However, she eventually decided to move to the US after she met Metropolitan Models co-owner Paolo Zampoli, a friend of her future husband, on a scouting trip in Europe. When Melania moved to Manhattan, Mr. Zampoli arranged for her to share a flat with photographer Matthew Atanian in Zeckendorf Towers in Union Square. But according to Mr. Zorkic, she had no dreams of moving to the Big Apple when she was a young woman. He said, I think it was a very far from our minds at that time. Mr. Zorkic said he was surprised when Melania suddenly left Slovenia, saying she told me she had an offer with a hair care company for a campaign, that's why she left. The pair reunited in New York in 2000 and Mr. Zorkic said he was taken aback when she spoke to him in English rather than Slovenian. He told ABC, I asked her, did you forget that you are Slovenian? She told me she spent her time traveling between New York and Fort Lauderdale in Florida and that she would never go back to Slovenia. Com commenting on her marriage to Donald Trump, Mr. Zorkic said he believes it was fate. He said nobody believed 20 years ago that she would live at the top of the world on 5th Avenue in Trump Tower, even her. Well, that is it for today's news guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.